natural resources and their conservation natural resources are the substances which are inherent to earth and can be obtained from the nature and utilized to create the product and services which are useful for human beings for example forest water air soil etc are the natural resources in our syllabus we are having six natural resources the first is the forest resource water resource land resource mineral resource energy resource and food resources let's talk about the forest in this case we need to study about the introduction forest resources we need to talk about the introduction about the forest resources importance of the forest deforestation causes and effect of forest degradation in india so what is forest forest can be defined in several ways the first one is it is a biotic community with predominance of the trees that means it is a living community where the majority of plants are tree it is the most important gift of the nature or it can also be defined as a forest is usually an area filled with the trees but any tall densely packed area of vegetation may be considered as a forest even underwater vegetations such as kelp forest or non vegetation such as fungi and bacteria can also be called as forest or it is a highly complex changing environment made up of living and non living things living things includes tree shrubs wildlife etc and non living things includes water nutrients rocks sunlight and air forests are important to human beings and the natural world for humans they have many aesthetic recreational economical historical cultural and religious values forest provide fuel wood timber wild life habitat industrial forest products climate regulations and medicinal medicinal values for the word forest is derived from a latin word called foris and the meaning of this word is outside so everything what is outside can be considered as forest forest are one of the most important natural resources of the earth the tree forest uh, mostly forest cover approximately 9.4% of the earth surface which is about 30% of the total land area and approximately 1/3 of the earth's total land area along with the russian federation brazil canada us china congo australia indonesia and sudan together with india and these countries account for uh, almost 67% of the total forest area in the world the forest distribution is something like that uh, for example uh, for example 25% of the forest is available in europe then 21% in south of america 18% in north of america in africa it's 16% and only 14% in asia while 5% in australia these are some of the examples of the forest first one is the conifer forest which is available in swiss alps second one is a temperate rain forest of tasmania while the next one is a mixed forest of serbia and finally amazon rainforest in brazil now let's talk about the importance of for forest or what are the benefit we are getting from the forest these benefits can be divided into two parts one is direct benefit and another is indirect benefit so let's talk about direct benefits some of the direct benefits are as follows like we get timber timber is the wood so we get wood for the plywood door windows ports etc then we also get the raw materials for the forest based industries like beekeeping furniture bamboo sticks etc then we also get the edible products like fruits seeds nuts etc they provide natural habitat to the tribal people also it is also a source of manure and fuel wood 
here it's important to know that india is the world's largest consumer of the fuel wood they may they are an important source of national income also they give medicinal plants they are uh, attracting tourists also so it is a uh, tourism uh, it is also better for the tourism it also provides the employment opportunity so these are some of the direct benefits what about indirect benefits they help in reducing soil erosion and siltation of downstream water bodies they help in reducing desertification as well as land degradation they also help in maintaining biodiversity by providing habitat to wildlife and animals they help in regulating hydrological cycle hydrological cycle means water cycle they also help in regulating the gases in atmosphere because they absorb carbon dioxide and they emit oxygen to the atmosphere